welcome dear student to my channel today we will learn the compound microscope it's a part and functions of each part and how to handle this compound microscope during the exam time or during the regular practical so that you can get the clear image of the each specimen what we observe under the compound microscope now about the different parts of compound microscope first we'll learn before that we'll see about the definition of microscope Microscope is an instrument designed to magnify objects which are not visible to the human eye. There are two types of the microscopes are there. So which are the used in the biology laboratory. One that is about the compound microscope and second one that is about the dissecting microscope. About the compound microscope which has a much higher resolving power. Compound microscope which is having the high resolving power than a simple microscope. Under this compound microscope, we learn about the small organisms, which are the microorganisms as well as about the tissues and about the cells, which can be easily studied with the help of the compound microscope. While the dissecting microscope is there, if you see about the dissecting microscope, the dissecting microscope is a simple microscope with a single lens. So here if you observe that, which is having a single lens. It is used to dissect the small organism as well as the parts of the small organisms. Dissection of the house fly as well as a cockroach as well as about the different flowers which can be done with the help of this dissecting microscope. Now we will see the different parts of this compound microscope. First we will see about the base. So base that is a foot. It is a U shape or horseshoe shape base which is a metallic base which support the whole microscope. Next to this about the it's a arm, this limb. This arm is there, it is used, it is a curved metallic handle and this is a connected to the base by the inclination joint here and to the body tube on the upper side. This inclination joint is there, it is used for tilting the microscope if required for the observation in the sitting position. So like that here we can tilt it. Next to this about the stage. So this is about the stage. This stage is there, it is also a metallic platform with the central hole. So here, if you observe that, at the center, the hole is a present, okay. This stage is there, which is fitted to the lower part of this arm. Microscopic slide, so this, the microscopic slide is there, which is uh, held on the stage by a uh, clips. So here, the two clips are there, this is one clip is there, this is a second clip is there which is used for holding this the slide on the proper position. About the body tube, so this is about the body tube, it holds the ocular and the objective lens at its two end. So at the upper end which is holding the ocular lens that is the eyepiece there which is a head while the lower end is there, the lower end shows the presence of the two to three objective lens. So this is uh, attached to the nose piece. So this what I am moving here, that is a nose piece on which these are the objectives are which are attached. Now here only two objectives are, one is of the 10x power, second is of the 45x power and one more is there which is of the 100x power. Now this can be rotated like that. So according to our convenience, here we can adjust it and we can get the clear image of the different microscopic organisms. Second this is the draw tube is there. So draw tube is a smaller tube that remain fixed to the upper end of the body. This is a draw tube which is a fixed, it is a upper end of the body tube which hold the eyepiece. So this is a eyepiece what I am holding here. This eyepiece which is of the different the power, one that is about the 5x power, sometimes 10x power or 15x power or 20x power depend on what type of the microorganism we want to watch. Next to the eyepiece, if you will see about the, these are the, about the adjustment screw. So this is a rough adjustment screw, this one is a fine adjustment screw. With the help of the rough adjustment screw, we can get the rough image of the objective. So here we can make the proper distance between the, the object and this objective, approximately the one finger thickness distance you have to keep so that you can get the rough image of that particular object. 
fine adjustment screw is there for getting the more clear image of the object this is for the fine adjustment screw okay this is about the condenser below the condenser we find this is a diaphragm so diaphragm is there if you watch this carefully so your diaphragm which is having the one knob with the help of the knob we can open this diaphragm or you can close this diaphragm okay so this is very important you have to adjust this and then you can get the proper amount of the light according to our requirement below that we find this is about the the mirror so mirror which are of the two type one is of the plane mirror second one is about the concave mirror so when the source of light is more that time you can use this plane mirror and suppose the source of light is a weak then you have to use the concave mirror so concave mirror and the plane mirror we can see the difference it rotate in the different direction so like that also it moves like that also it moves so where the source of the light is there based on that you have to show the position of this particular mirror and get the maximum source of light and with the help of this the knob is there of the diaphragm which you can open or you can close based on the source of the light we can adjust this during exam time or during your regular practical when you are sitting and on your table the microscope is at this position okay and your source of light suppose on this direction you don't have to move the microscope like that but you have to hold the microscope as it is okay where your sitting position your sitting position is this side okay hold the microscope like that you have to keep the microscope at the same place and then afterward you have to watch through this eye piece and then first you have to check that your eyepiece as well as your objective is there it should be in the same line this objective and your eyepiece it should be of the same line okay so and afterward you have to check about the mirror so this is about the mirror now the source of the light is a less so that's why here i will check first whether it is a concave or whether it is a plane mirror so here source of light is a less so that's why here i will use this concave mirror okay now what i will do here now i will check through this eyepiece here to the eyepiece i have to check whether the light source is there or no so here light source is from this side from this direction so i will change the direction of the mirror toward this side suppose the light source is there which is from this side if it is from this side then change the direction of the mirror toward this side okay now my light source is there that is from this side so here that's why i am just changing the direction of the mirror toward this side and this is about the concave mirror now through this eye piece i am watching and then here through the objective this light is a passing and then suppose the light source is a less i will check about the first about the this diaphragm so below this diaphragm knob is there that already you got the instruction so open the knob and try to get the maximum source of the light okay now your eye piece your this the objective this the what is the source of the light through the mirror and through the diaphragm it is now correct next step is that that is about your the slide before keeping the slide on the stage you have to clean the stage first with the help of the any cloth okay so that any dust is there afterward whatever the slide you have prepared that slide also from the lower side if any the uh, water is there that you have to clean it properly so that you can get the exact clear image and then you have to hold the this slide on the stage at the proper position okay once you adjust with the slide with the help of the clip so these are the clips are there so both the clips you have to hold it on this slide so that your slide will remain at the same position and you can get the proper image and you can show it to your examiner also so whatever the slide you have prepared suppose this is a slide which you have prepared this will keep it on the stage so on the stage we'll keep the slide then bring the slide whatever the specimen is there towards uh, this particular hole okay now again after through this eye piece i will check now here we'll check whether the source of the light is a correct or no yes now source of the light is a correct now what i will do here the eye piece whatever the your objective is in the same line objective and the slide the distance is there it should be approximately of the one figure thickness and then i will help with the, the help of the rough adjustment screw i will adjust yes now i have got the rough image of the objective okay so this is a rough image of the objective after that with the help of the this fine adjustment screw i will get the more clear image of this particular slide yes now the it is a more clear 
so this is the perfect the use of the microscope here this one is about the 10x power suppose uh, your slide which is uh, having the something microscopic thing if you want to get the more more image more enlarged image we can use the the another one that is about the 45x power so for for the 45x what we have to do you have to with the help of the coarse adjustment screw take it little bit above then with the help of the other hand change this objective move this nose piece and now this objective is here okay so objective when the objective which come towards the exact position we get some sound tuck sound okay now it is in the same position now the slide is where at the proper position with the rough adjustment screw i will try to get the rough image then with the help of the fine adjustment screw i will get the more clear image so this is the proper way to get the proper image of the any specimen under the compound microscope now i will show you how the slide it looks through the eyepiece this is about the 10x power of the eyepiece and below the objective is there which is of the also 10x this slide is there which is of the ts of mammalian bone so this way you can get the clear image of the mammalian bone